I was on a plane many years ago, and the man sitting next to me, I would guess to be in his mid-80s, maybe even late 80s, still very sharp, a businessman, still running his own business. But when he found out I was an evangelist and that I enjoyed the subject of Bible prophecy, he began to ask some very specific questions, though he himself, by his own admission, was not a religious man. He was curious because he said, I've heard rumors that there are prophecies in the Bible and that they've been very accurate throughout history. I said, that's true. There are over 2,500 prophecies in the Holy Bible. Over 2,100 of them have come to pass with complete and total accuracy. I want you to know this morning that you don't have to throw your brain away to be a Bible believer. You don't have to throw your mind and your ability to reason away to follow Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The Bible is uniquely different from all other religious books on the planet. There is no book like the Bible. There are many religions in the world, but there is no book like the Bible upon which fundamental Christianity is based. You can prove the Bible through science. You can prove the Bible through biblical archaeology. And by the way, biblical archaeology is not a religious science. It's a secular science. The leading voices and the leading uh, minds in biblical archaeology, many of them are atheists and agnostics. They only call it biblical archaeology because it's conducted in the land of the Bible. There have been over 26,000 digs through the years in biblical archaeology. Theology. Thousands of them have proven the content of the Bible. Not one dig has ever exposed anything to contradict what the historicity of the Scripture shows us. You can prove the Bible through manuscript evidence. The Bible has over 66,000 manuscripts, scrolls, pieces, writings that verify its content. And it can still be translated from those original manuscripts as accurately today as it was when God by the Holy Spirit penned it through those that he entrusted it to. You can prove the Bible through the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Some of you that are students in colleges and university, they may debate this, but if you'll do your homework, you'll find that there are over 500 witnesses who saw Jesus Christ after his death, his burial, and witnessed his resurrection. But don't miss this. One of the greatest proofs of the authenticity of your Bible is prophecy content. This Bible is almost one-third prophecy. Some scholars would say 27.8% if you want to be specific. Others would say no, it's a little closer to 31. But I'm not going to debate with those type of individuals. You can safely say that about one-third of your Bible is prophetic in content. That is what separates the Bible from all other religious writings in the world. There are no other religious writings in the entirety of the world and civilization that can be verified like the Bible, and prophecy is what separates this book from all other what the world would call sacred writings. The Bible is the word of the living God. From the first word in the book of Genesis to the last word in the book of Revelation, you can place your life upon the foundation of what it says and know that what Jesus said is true in Matthew. Heaven and earth will pass away, but my words will never pass away.